Hi, my name is John from Japanese Knife Imports, and today we're going to do a demonstration of thinning of knives so you can see the actual process. We've already shot a kind of lecture on it and discussed the concepts and kind of how to go about it, and now I just want to give you guys uh, a functional thing that you can watch and see, oh, that's how that angle is done, that's how that's done. So here I have a blade that I'm going to be doing thinning and sharpening on, and uh, for those of you who don't know knives, yes, that's marker down there. Uh, one of the best tools that you can have as a sharpener is uh, Magic Marker, Sharpie. And you can color in your edge, you can color in the area behind the edge, and then as you make passes on the stone, you can see where your sharpening is taking place. And for the purposes of this video, I've colored in part of my edge so that you can see where sharpening is taking place as we go about this stuff. So, uh, in a lot of our other videos, we've colored, covered basic sharpening. And, uh, and so the basic sharpening it, you know, you're somewhere up here and your motion is this back and forth motion like this and your fingers are kind of around here towards the edge, not at the edge because you don't want your fingers dragging uh, along the stone. Eventually the stone will grind away at your fingers and you start bleeding and it's not very fun. Um, so here we are, we're grinding away at the edge. And here you can see there, I've, I've ground away a part of the edge. And usually, I guess I do a little bit more than that, but for this, we'll call it a day. So that's our edge sharpening. If we continue to do this all the way up our blade, our blade is gonna get really thick and won't cut as well. So we need to do thinning. And as part of the thinning, uh, this kind of knife already has that built in where you can see that there's a Shinogi line here. Even though it's a double bevel knife, uh, it has the, the structure for, for thinning built in. So you sharpen always from this line and you move this line up at the same rate that your edge moves up and it's very easy to see. When you don't have that, you can use this kind of look as a guideline so you have an idea of about how it's gonna look on your blade. So, for our sharpening, our angle is up here. For our thinning, our angle is gonna be way down here. My blade's not flat on the stone, there's still a little bit of room there, but it's a much lower angle. If your thinning angle is here or here or anywhere in here, you're okay. Um, if it's the same angle as you're sharpening it, that's not really thinning, that's just sharpening. So it has to be more acute than what you're sharpening at. Also, your finger placement is gonna be different. Your finger placement is gonna be over the area that you're trying to sharpen, or actually near the top of the area that you're trying to sharpen. So in this case, my fingers are above the Shinogi line, which is on the opposite side and also on this side. And my angle is a lot more acute. As I do this, my pressure is going to be down against the stone and back towards the Shinogi line, not rounding over it. I'm not trying to push my knife flat onto the stone, but enough so that it's as if I'm pushing the line back. So here we go. And you can see that I'm now removing marker in this area up here. Uh, there's you know some little spaces here that I've missed here at the top, but in general, I'm removing the marker up here. So my sharpening is taking place at this top area here. And I will do that until I've raised the top of this level the same degree to which I've removed metal from the edge. Also, if you haven't done that before and you, you don't have a sense for what that's gonna be like, you can look at the cross-sectional geometry of your knife. So you can look at it from here and see how it thins down. And that can give you an idea of about how much you want to thin your knife and about how thin you want it to be. And I know that a lot of people online have posted pictures of their knives with this cross-sectional geometry, so you can get an idea for, for what various knives are like in that sense. Um, so that's, that's kind of the gist of thinning. When you do the second side, the opposite side, you'll do the same thing. Your angle of approach, this angle here, may be a little bit different. But again, your sharpening will be at this angle and your thinning will be at a much lower angle. And you can use tools like this magic marker to help you get a sense for where the sharpening is taking place. Uh, please keep in mind that as you sharpen, you're removing metal and you cannot put metal back onto your knife. So take it slow, don't go crazy with your sharpening, but it's a very important part of your sharpening and should be a part of your regular routine. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you have questions, you can email us at john at japaneseknifeimports.com uh, or check us out on our website, JapaneseKnifeImports.com. Thank you very much.